Hey folks, today we set the sleeves in the engine case. For this we put the engine case in the oven and wait for something about 20 minutes. For sealing the water system to the oil system, we use a special glue that we coat on the outside of the sleeve, exactly like this. So now everything is prepared, now we put the engine out of the oven and hopefully when everything is fine the sleeve dropped very smooth in the engine case without any problem. Yes, that looks perfect and on the other side Yes, that went perfect. Uh, now we have to be fast because uh, the sleeve soaked the heat from the engine and uh, when the temperature is the same it's not so good. So now the press uh, do over 20 tons so the sleeve will never drop again. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we can do the other engine side. It has to be also for something about 20 minutes in the oven. The other side we let cool down under the press. Now we release it and can check if everything is fine. Oh yes, that looks pretty nice. There comes a little bit of sealing out. That's normal. Exactly the same we do now with the other side of the block.
So now we can a uh, little bit clean up the rest of the glue and when we have did this we can start the machining process. Oh yeah, it looks so good and I'm super happy with that and in my opinion that's the best engine you can get from a factory one. Here you can see I installed there a special cooling ring that is for a better cooling in the top area of the block and in the next video we install there a Cooper wire modification and uh, do here the bore for the pin of the piston and we do the rear truss conversion. That's pretty important when you want to drive a stroker engine. Yeah, then we hone and uh, surface the deck of the block and uh, check if the liner is straight. I'm pretty sure it isn't straight, but we can do that. Yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and Lutti is now a little bit tired, so we go home and uh, I wish you a nice weekend and don't forget, the world is flat.